Bonjour, amigos. So welcome back to our channel. We are Wade and Danny. And in today's episode, we are driving from Karajini to Broome. Wade thinks he saw a kitten on the side of the road. No, I didn't think we were going to make it to the fuel station. Please don't judge. Yeah, cover that shit up. We are at the spot where the cyclone hit. He's going to die if he stays here. We spent tonight at the free campsite just an hour and a half before Port Headland. We're gonna stop there before making our way to Broome to get supplies. We've spent the last five or six days in the middle of nowhere in Karajini, so we had no water, no food, nothing. I don't know when was the last time we actually showered. Four days, five days, six days? How long is too long? How long is too long? <laughs> For breakfast, we're having one of our go-to breakfasts on the road, which is mushroom, spinach, and mozzarella on a rye bread. It's super easy and delicious, but we are still cooking on a gas cooktop because if you guys saw our last video, we changed our batteries over. Those batteries still haven't charged 100%, so we don't know how much charge is in them. So just in case to be safe, we're using the gas cooktop, is that right? That is right. But in Broome, we will go to Caravan Park, plug in, charge them up, and then we know how much they are. A little tip of when you're traveling around in a caravan or a van, whatever, traveling around, and if you're running on an induction cooktop, it is super handy to have a gas cooktop just as a backup. We have used this quite a lot, actually. It's been a cloudy day. The solar panels haven't been able to charge our batteries enough, so we haven't been able to use our induction cooktop. We haven't been able to use the air fryer, so the gas cooktop is the savior. How is your breakfast? Breakfast is really good. I like this breakfast because it's a little bit chilly. It's nice to have a hot breakfast. Also, once we arrive to Broome, we need to wash some clothes. I just realized something. We filmed all this morning, breakfast. Look at my jumper. It is so dirty, and I don't have any more jumpers left. Everything else is in the wash. So, please don't judge. <laughs> we live in a van. <laughs> Let's get the, the dishes and get out of here. Okay. Yeah. Vamos. Danny is just outside. She's doing a quick little B roll section of why we're leaving. But she hates it when I do this. She tries to go back in the van. And then I go forward. No, I get you off that. She that hates it. Hates it. It's gone, yeah. <laughs> you best. <laughs> she loves it when I do that. She thinks it's funny. Yeah, every time. Every time. <laughs> For a second, I didn't think we were going to make it to the fuel station. How Wait, much did you have? So you, on the car, it tells you how many kilometers you have, and then it gets to a point where those kilometers disappear and you can't actually select it anymore. So I didn't know. Let's see how many meters <laughs> we can get. This is a dollar nine. First stop for us is in Kmart. I need some pajamas, and if you're following us along on Instagram, you would have seen that my pajamas have a hole in them. No, we didn't post this story. Oh, so it was too graphic. He oh, had, no. See his whole bum cracking <laughs> his underwear. I can't tell no so one. I didn't post it. No one saw that. But <laughs> we can put it here. You guys can see that. <laughs> we'll blur it out. <laughs> These are five dollars. Are they? Mm -hmm. I like the sound of that. Oh, there's a boat. Oh, you couldn't see. <laughs> I think we got the jackpot. Yeah, this is better. Kind of. Oh my god, you guys are coming with us to choose underwear for this guy. Oh, these, these, ones are, these, <laughs> these ones are a bit stretchier. Bad and then the two that you have go in the bin, eh? Yeah, they go, they're done. What size am I? Extra, extra? Small? Big <laughs> <laughs> or large? Okay. That's it? Okay. On to the next stop, which is Woolworths. We need to get some food. We are very, very, very low on our food levels. And water, so we can have a shower. Yeah, we're first. Wool is hot. Water. What I think I might there? need lunch. I'm getting hungry. What time is it? I don't know. Is it lunchtime? It's 10.30. Mm. No lunchtime. Mm. Yeah, let's get water first. There's a free camp in Port Hedland that you can stay for 72 hours, and it's so busy. The reviews on Wiki Camps are really good, so I'm not surprised. But I was just telling you as well, there's another paid camp here and the review, reviews for there were terrible, so I can see why everyone's just hanging in this one. Why would you pay? Yeah. 
we uh, pretty much were completely empty before coming here. We have 110 liters underneath. It gets us about five, six days, you would say. If, if we don't shower. If we don't shower and conservative with the water. If we shower, we're probably only getting about three days. And I reckon that would only be with one shower in there. It is what it is. Full tank of water, ready to go. Next stop, I want to, I need to get some food in here. Yeah, let's go towards the shops and see if we find something to eat. Yeah, I think it's a terrible idea to go to the shops while you're hungry. And <laughs> we're gonna come back with so much stuff we don't even need. We don't have the space for. <laughs> let's go find food. Let's go. This is uh, not a very big shop for us, it's more just a top up and a couple of meals. So just the essentials today. It Some is. Salad, fruit, veggies, snacks, chicken, tuna, vinegar, mayonnaise, milk. And I think because we were hungry, that's the reason why these are coming with us. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't had lunch Speaking yet. of, let's put this away. Yeah. Go find lunch. Yep. We're not going to cook today. Find a place to let the cats out for a bit. Before we start driving again, because yeah. we still got like another three or four hours of driving. Cool, back to you. We are going to do a quick stop up at a chicken treat, but I did see that the maximum height is 2.8 meters to get into this drive through. We're not doing it, we go beside it. Plastic wrap, maybe. Hi, welcome to Chicken Treat. Can I take you all the way? Yeah. Anything else? That is it. Yeah, I'll go around to the left. No worries. Thank, Thank you. So <laughs> even she said. <laughs> yeah, she knew. <laughs> Don't even attempt it. Just across the road from the Chicken Treat was like a race coursey area, a dump station, so we might actually use that real quick. But we want to have some lunch and let the cats out. We're going to stretch their legs. This is perfect for them if they need to go to the toilet. It's nice and soft. So we're gonna hang here for the next half an hour or so and then head out of Port Headland and start making our way to Broome. I don't think we're actually gonna make it the whole way to Broome. We might, I don't like know. Is it like six hours still? I think it is. Yeah, it's, we don't drive that much. No, day. it's not worth it. And then we're gonna pay for accommodation there potentially, so we might stop somewhere along the way. Let's see how the day turns out. Forgot to show you guys what we actually got. So to try and keep it healthy, if we ever get like McDonald's or like one of those fast food places, we always feel like shit after. So when we get takeaway stuff, we do try and keep it kind of healthy, it makes you just feel better. So we've just gone for a really a classic chicken wrap, they call it. It's chicken, lettuce, tomato, cheese. Onion. Pretty much it. And then we did add a Coke and, uh, and some chips. I had a little crazy chips. <laughs> we were gonna shower here, we both need, but it's cold shower. It's not that hot for a cold shower. So I think we're gonna wait another day when we are in Broome, we're gonna stay at a caravan park with hot showers, so what's another day? One more day. I'll be showering in the van tonight, now that we have water. We'll see tonight if we feel like it. We need to do head checks before getting into the van. Some snow was in the van, I was in the van, Danny was in the van. Christian's pooping. Christian's <laughs> pooping! <laughs> we almost left with our gachinha, and she's doing a poop. Yeah, cover that shit up. You know what I can do now, Denizinha? I give you, let's say, three guesses of what I would love right about now. I just need one guess. I know exactly what it is. Okay. A monster. <laughs> <laughs> you know me too well. I can read your mind. <laughs> nice because I need I want it one too. Yeah, and we still got like three hours. But are we getting going getting that far? I guess so. Maybe not. Let's see. We could go on. Maybe that monster will. <sighs> Give us that little kick we're after. Okay. It's just here too. No, I put him in the fridge. Oh, the better. I love you. Ti amo, Denizinha. If you're not from Australia, you might not know this, but the Western Australia region, one of the regions in Western Australia, got hit by a really bad cyclone maybe like a month ago. The towns at most risk are between Port Hedland and Broome. They're expecting wind gusts of up to 90 kilometers an hour as well as heavy rain. We are at the spot where the cyclone hit. It's a roadhouse and you used to be able to get petrol here, but it's all closed off. You can't, no one can access, but it looks like a ghost town. It's 
quite sad you can see all of the signs fallen the trees broken no leaves the roof of the roadhouse is all gone the petrol bowsers are blown over yeah it's crazy we were just saying if a cyclone was going to hit anywhere in the country, here isn't such a bad place. Yes, this place got smashed by it, but there's nothing else around here. It's just land. So they were able to see the cyclone coming well in advance. So they were able to evacuate everyone from here. So no one was here when it hit, which is great. Yeah. Here we go. Now we're talking. Cold. Mm. You're addicted. The caffeine. We got a long drive, we still got like two and a half hours. When you're trying to do some work and someone else wants to get some love in there. <laughs> it's my desk now. <laughs> oh buddy, we're almost there. We got one more hour and then you can't go stretch your legs. We are still driving. The sun is almost set, but we're still going. We my got... mum is a sway. Yeah, poor cats. John Snow came and said hi. I think he's ready for a break. We got half an hour to the halfway camp, kind of before getting to Broome. I don't think we're going to make it to Broome. Oh, oh no. I'm going to drive anyway. <laughs> no, I'm done today. 20 oh. minutes. 20 minutes, we're good to go. Yeah. We just turned around. Wade thinks he saw a kitten on the side of the road. Like, we're not leaving a kitten behind. We're going to have a third cat. Is this going to be like the case of where we stop for one? Oh. And then like 10 of them come out. He's on the side of the road. Someone just... Oh no, it's a whole... Oh my gosh! I can't take you all. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there's more. He was tiny. Oh, you could have got to go and escape with the man. Yeah. Oh, you wait. Next time you stop, don't hesitate. This will do. That's us for tonight. This is us. Finally, we made it. We made it before dark, which was good. It's always the goal, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we started to see a few kangaroos as well. It's, a, it's the worst thing when you're driving at night time. The kangaroos start to come out. They got no idea. They run in front of the car. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I think these guys are ready. To get out. Yeah. I'm ready to stretch my legs too. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay. Let's get out. How's the gachina? I don't think we're going to have a shower today. Decided? Are you okay with that? Yeah, I guess so. Because it's guaranteed we're having tomorrow, ne? Yeah, well, we need to book accommodation for oh, tomorrow. Yeah. We want to get a caravan park inside Broome because we haven't heard great stories about Broome and being too safe. So we're not too keen to sleep on the streets around there. So we're going to do a caravan park. Shower guaranteed, bro. Right? Shower, washing. So we'll save our showers for then. One more day. What's six days to seven days? <laughs> same to same, right? <laughs> Let's go for a quick little tour around the place. This place is huge. So I guess we start, we are in like a back corner area. Toilets are over there. We've got our neighbor over there. Someone over here. We have another wild animal over here. <laughs> An exotic one. Oh. Danny has a massive phobia of things flying. So like this guy, this guy here. Look at this. Get him! No! I'm catching him. But I think if you touch him with the with my hand, like the oils on my hands. Okay. He's gonna die if he stays here. He's gone. Gone away! No! <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna get rid of him. Problem solved. <laughs> Do you want to tell everyone what you're doing? Yeah, so there was no shower today, obviously. <laughs> we uh, opted not to, but that means we got dirty feet. And someone doesn't let me into bed if I have dirty feet. Yeah, because show, show your foot. Look, that was like just a little bit of my foot. They are pretty mm. bad. And we have white sheets underneath. Yeah, Of no. course I don't let you go. I... <laughs> Could you even sleep if you went to bed like that? Probably. Oh. No? No, I couldn't. Oh, Gia. 
Bom dia! We're on the road again. Should arrive in Broome in two and a half hours? Two hours now. Two hours. Yeah, we've been driving for a little bit already. We tried to book a caravan park last night in Broome, but it was so fully booked. So we messaged another one, but they don't have like an online booking system. So we'll have to get there and try to find accommodation for tonight. So wish us luck. We are in Broome, it's an interesting place. Driving in was, uh, there was a lot of dead cows and cars abandoned, which was strange. Yeah. And it looks like a very dry place. Yeah. So we're heading to the post office, we need to grab a couple of things and then we're gonna go try and check into a caravan park. We did get a message saying that, just rock up and we'll find a spot for you. So I think we'll go there after that and then uh, settle down for a bit, have some lunch, do a million loads of washing. It's well overdue. We don't go to many caravan parks, but when we do, usually you book in and they assign a site to you and then you go straight to that site. But here in Broome, they were like, oh, okay, we got like four or five sites for you to pick from. And I'm like, okay. So you start driving around, all of the sites are actually taken except for one of them anyway, <laughs> which is a bit strange. She gave us four options, the ones the ones painted. Only 82 is free. Yeah. <laughs> so 82 it is. <laughs> These choices, but you don't actually have choices. <laughs> <laughs> but at least we liked the 82, right? Yeah, 82 looked good. There was some good shade, there was grass. It's a really nice looking park. It is very nice. Yeah, I'm impressed. Oh, someone's ready to get out. Aww. You open the door, he's ready. You ready, buddy? Come on. You're gonna like it here. They charge $2 for the cats Usually to be they here. They charge extra for kids, not pets. As if these guys are gonna give them any trouble. Stop crying, come out. Hey, what is it? I know. We're done with driving. <laughs> you okay, buddy? I think yeah. you can be here. You Santa Claus? Just a little bit today, just the basics. <laughs> We just put all of our sheets in, well, one, one set of sheets because they were white and they are now orange. But there's only one washing machine, so we still have another, at least two loads here we need to get done. So we might actually be staying two nights here. <laughs> the amount of washing we need to get done. This is looking delicious. What do we got? Just like a crunchy Asian salad with chicken. Obviously not all the chicken for today. No, we both cook. Yeah. But I'm gonna put all of this um, salad next. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Looks good. Guys, if you don't have one of these in your lives, you need it. We learned this from my mom. We use it on everything. In Brazil, this is called a lumbi lumbi, which is like click click. And that's what it does. It feels like, it almost like, Clean. looks like you're leaking and it leaves everything so clean after. Yeah. This lunch is looking delicious though. Bon appetit. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I can't remember the last time that we put one of these on Gachini and John Snow, but a guy came up because, like, she's just sitting out, doing nothing. Sitting outside, relaxing, he's like, the cats, they, they gotta be on a lead. So, we gotta try and get this thing on Gachini. Thank you, Chia. You're just hanging about. Yeah? It's been a while, huh? <laughs> I think she's forgotten how to walk in it. <laughs> With all the corrugation roads that we've been on lately, there have been a couple of things that are falling apart in the van. This is one of them. This is the top drawer above the fridge here. So it sits on these runners. And if you can see, uh, here there's one screw and then there's one more at the back from all the corrugations they got so loose that they the screws are almost completely out of it and the the drawer was just shaking around there's probably a few more other things that are not doing so great after the corrugations that we might need to address <laughs> this is number one and now we're back in looking good perfect we quickly just jumped in the car and decided to come to Cable Beach. Danny really wanted to see the sunset with the camels that walk along the beach. We thought sunset was at 6.30. Turned out sunset was at 
20. We realized this at 10 past 5. Yeah. So we quickly ran here, went to go check it out. The sun was set and it was like, fun's over. So now we're gonna go to the coast, grab some pizzas. Yep. Enjoy the oven in the caravan park. We didn't even check that they have an oven, but I'm sure they do, sure right? They will, right? Yeah, and I have some pizza tonight because it's been tonight. forever. So we got the pizza and we decided to get one of these because we thought there's an oven here in the caravan park. There's an oven, but it didn't work. We were there for an, an hour, hour cooking this pizza and then we're getting bitten by mozzies and we're just like, okay, now nah, this, this isn't working anymore. So we grabbed it, cutting it up into slices and throwing it in the air fry real quick just to finish it off. <laughs> and we have a bit of a surprise that we have not had in forever. For dessert. Well, that's not really a surprise. It's ice cream. <laughs> Ta -da! Everyone has come here to enjoy our beautiful dessert. Even mm. Gachina. Gachina loves ice cream. So we got the butterscotch and gingerbread. What do you think? So we were tossing up between this flavor or the coffee flavor. Mm. And we love the coffee flavor from Connoisseur. And his coffee flavor is way better. Yeah. I wouldn't buy this one again. No, I'll get the coffee again. Yeah. But how are you meant to know if you don't try it, right? So we gave it a whirl. Now we have one liter of ice cream to enjoy. <laughs> if you guys want to see more of Broome, make sure you check out our next video because we're going to be exploring all of the areas in Broome. So you don't want to miss those ones. That'll be a good one. See you guys next week. Bye.